right, it is our pleasure now to hit the guest line. Welcome in seven-time NBA champion Robert Ori, who's joining us on behalf of Bet Online. You got to check them for up-to-date NBA Finals series lines, game lines, Finals MVP, player props. Big shot, Bob. Robert Ori, thanks so much for joining us again. How are you? My pleasure, Maggie. How are you doing? We're doing great. Okay, before we get to the finals or whatever, we've got to go to you because you're the authority on game-winning and series-clinching shots. I mean, you've done it for multiple teams. You're in the history books because of it, Robert. So, Derek White's buzzer beater game six. Is this like an all-timer, or how are we going to remember it because ultimately the Celtics lost the series? Dad, you just said it. <laughs> when you lose the series, it don't really mean much because it was for not. Even though it was a great play by him, you know, one of the things that you try to teach kids is to follow your shot. Even though it wasn't his shot, he followed up and was able to tip it in. But unfortunately, they lost the series. So it won't be remembered it, 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 because the way, that, especially against an eight seed, an eight seed knocking off your two seed. So there's so many things that's going to downplay that shot. So. I hate it for him, but they're not going to remember it. <laughs> Wait, but your bar, your bar is so high, though, Robert. You, you kept on hitting <laughs> title winning. There has to be. Did you ever hit a buzzer beater that wasn't for a championship that uh, that you remember? I mean, you can't have only teams that will go on to win it all. Well, you know, my first buzzer beater was a rookie year playing with the Houston Rockets. And it was a shot I made against the Seattle Super Science to take that game in the overtime. And we lost in overtime in game seven. So nobody talks about it. And so it makes you feel good as an individual and it gives you some some, some, some sense of purpose and it gives you uh, a sense of pride. But if you don't win, it kind of doesn't mean anything on the big scheme of things. And for me, that's the only one that I can recollect now that I, I made a shot and, and nobody talks about it because we don't care about losing. We only care about winning. It makes the highlight real, but it's like the last one in the real. Robert <laughs> yeah. Ori is joining us on behalf of Bet Online right now. The Denver Nuggets uh, minus 380. Their favorites in this series over the Miami Heat. Got to check Bet Online for all your up to date lines. So, besides yourself, Robert, who, which of your other teammates, and you've had some incredible ones, would you trust the most to make a buzzer beater that last second shot? Um. <laughs> You got you know, Kenny Smith when I was on the Rockets. You got um, Kobe, of course, uh, and, and on the on the Lakers. And you got Manu Ginobili on on the Spurs. And um, but the one thing they all have in common is they're all competitors. They like to win. They like to compete, and they do what's best for the team. So, but. We all know they all would have deferred to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> Perfect answer. Yeah. Oh, I saw this. There was a skit, or you did a, a thing on TNT, Know Your Teammate. Do you remember that with Shaq? Where you guys, it was like a newlywed game. That was incredible. But the funny thing was, Maggie, every answer was Shaq. He seems like, <laughs> of course <laughs> it was. is he the most, uh, the biggest character you've had as a teammate? I think that's an easy answer. Uh, yes, you know, I saw you know with the, the couple of games I played with Dennis Rodman, but Shaq, you know, you think about it, he's a great individual, man. He does so many things for people, and he, he you know just walks up to people in you know different uh, places, gives them money, buys them things. He's just an incredible person, and the fact that he's turned out to be this huge entrepreneur and doing things outside of basketball is amazing. And he's the only guy I ever played with that had. The ability to flip that switch, and what I mean by that is to be go out and just be a freaking animal, a beast. But then again, to turn out to be a clown on the sideline, but in a good way. And so he is just a phenomenal individual, great human being, great father. And I'm so happy I can just pick up the phone and call him at any time because they many guys at that stature would take your call when you call them. Wait, we got to play some audio for you. Robert Ori is our guest right now on behalf of Bet Online. Um, so Shaq last night was talking about the cold start from three that the Celtics had and what he would have done if he was on that team. Take a listen. When my team goes zero for 10 the first quarter, you know what I'm telling everybody? Don't shoot another three. Shoot another three and I'm going to punch you in your face. Let's get the ball <laughs> inside. Let's take Hopperson. No, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> when he says no seriously, Robert, you've been in those huddles with Shaq. Did he threaten physical violence if guys got cold from three? Hey, that's one thing I've been blessed with. We had smart players. We never got to that point. <laughs> well, 
we, we knew where our, our bread and butter lie. We always went to shot. We gave him the rock because when a girl, when a guy, when a guy has the advantage, you go with that advantage, and his advantage was always on our side. So I don't understand. You know, in this day and age, this day and age, everybody wants to shoot a three B. Everybody thinks they're Steph and Clay, and you're not. You know, do what you do what you do best. Get to the hole. Get buckets that way. You know, at the end of the day, it's about you know getting buckets. And when you just want to live and die by the three, all these teams die by the three because they they feel like they're Steph and Clay. And there's only one step in play. There's only one splash, brother. So let's be realistic and, and do what's easiest and do what's best for a team. Robert, what are the Celtics missing? They seem to have an advantage talent-wise on Miami, but there's uh, some secret ingredient that Jimmy Butler and the Heat have that the Celtics don't have. Uh, I, when I watch the Celtics play, <clears throat> they depend on – they're two talented guys way too much. And of course, you know, you say, well, you did that with Shaq and Kobe and Tim and Manu and stuff like that. But it's a difference when you have a big that's on the inside scoring and when you stop him, he kicks it out and you get five up three. Um, this day and age, everybody plays, they run the same system. That's why Denver is so different. They run a system through a big and they, they make you think more on, on the defensive end. And if you watch the way the, the, the Celtics play is like, okay, Brown, you go. You hot? Okay, you ride with you. Okay, Tatum, you go. Not running a system where you get back doors like a Miami. You, you know, if you watch how the Miami Heat played, they, their offense was very structured. Even though they gave it to Jimmy Butler and got out of the way But when Jimmy's not in the game, they run an offense. They get back doors. They get layups. They get, you know, pick and rolls with Kyrie coming. I mean, with Kyrie Kyle coming off knocking down three. It's a system. It's not a one-on-one system. Like Boston played the hard, you know, they play one on one and expect you to kick it out to all the shooters and knock down shots. And you can't, you can't win an NBA championship like that unless you one team, the Golden State Warriors. Everybody else tries to repeat it, but they can't be it. Robert Ori is our guest, a seven-time NBA champion on behalf of Bet Online. That's where you have to go to get all the game lines and all the action for the NBA Finals. Okay, got to ask you about the Lakers. Big shot, Bob on the line. So. LeBron kind of flirting a little bit with retirement. I mean, how shocked would you be if he actually hung it up this offseason? I would be more shocked than anything because he has a hundred million left. Um, he's he's always thrown out there that like he loved to play with his son Bronny. And to me, there's so many scenarios that's going on to keep him from retiring. You know, we don't want him to retire. You know, he's twenty years in. He's still better than 85% of the league, you know, and so you don't ever want to see greatness walk away, and we witnesses some greatness right now, and we want to continue to see him break records and continues to, 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 to tune in because we want to say, okay, you know, we lost Kobe, you know, MJ retired, and we don't come across these females but every so often, and we want to keep them and hold them dear as long as we can. Robert, what do the Lakers have to do? What do they have to add to help LeBron at least compete for another title? I think they have what it takes. You know, you know, they need to stay out of the you know, hour, um, but they need to bring back the core of those guys back and get some time together. Uh, I, you know, everybody can sit back and be an armchair, you know, GM, a coach, but I really think this team was special. Um, I think – to me, the one thing they really need to do is, you know, run the offense more through AD instead of having them doing pick and rolls. Because when you got a guy that talented, you got to get him easy possessions on the block, things of that nature. And you know, because you got Austin Reed who's coming to his own, you got D'Lo who is up and down who needs to find a home so he can have some, you know, cons- consistency. And then you got Vando who can guard anybody on the court. You got my favorite player, Rui Hachimura, who has a body like nobody. You know, he can do so many things. He doesn't really miss a mid-range. So if you put it all down on paper, they're not missing much. And so I, I think they have a good chance that they can bring everybody back to make a nice little run again. Robert Ori is our guest on behalf of Bet Online. Okay, the idea, though, the rumors out there about Kyrie Irving. You know, we know LeBron and he have, you know, patched things up from after things uh, went down in Cleveland. Do you think Kyrie with LeBron and AD, does that equal a title to you? Um, you know, when you look at exceptional athletes, that's what Kyrie is, one of the best ball handlers you ever see. But, you know, will it work? I don't know. I know he's a different point guard. 
than Russell was, and so he brings a different aspect to the game. And LeBron's familiar with him, but the key is, will, will he be him and AD have a connection? You know, because that's the most important. And then with him being there, with the development of guys like Austin Reese to continue to skyrocket. So there's so many things that come into play. But would I take him? Yes, because he's a talent. He he, he is a talent like no other. He can shoot. He can score. You know, and so do you take that chance? You know, do you take him or D'Lo? You know, that that's what it's going to basically boil, boil down to if Kyrie wants it. All right, Robert, you're here on behalf of Bet Online. The series opened Miami plus 310, Denver minus 380. Do the Heat have a chance here in the NBA Finals? Uh, man, you know, I love Jimmy Butler. I've been knowing him for a long time uh, since he was like 15 years old. I'm rooting for Jimmy, but I just don't think they have a shot because when you look at teams that have won championships throughout the day, they have a hit factor. And they're not missing much. They don't have any kinks, you know, chinks in their armor. And you look at this Denver team, they have a nice little bench. They have two guys who can get you 30 every night. You have guys, a spot-up shooter, uh, Michael Porter Jr. You got a guy who can play that, be that lockdown defender, KCP, on Jimmy Butler. So they pretty much have everything. I, you know, I, I see them winning this lead to five or six games because they're just too big and too talented for the Miami Heat. Got to check out Bet Online for up to date NBA Finals series lines, game lines, finals MVP, player props. Again, betonline.net. Robert Ori, thank you so much for joining the show, your expertise, and yeah, that Derek White buzzer beater. <laughs> just what could have been, you know? It's just, we're not going to remember it the same way.